While Caitlyn Jenner may be the world's most famous transgender woman, many more trans people are working to break down obstacles. With shows like Transparent and Orange is the New Black, transgender stars are finally gaining their airtime, and here are 10 such celebrities. Number 1. Zion Moreno Yo iba a contar todo. Porque no siento vergüenza. En serio. Zion Moreno, a native of El Paso and Mexican origins, has become more and more popular since she was a member of the well-known Netflix Youth Control series of The Mexican Factory, and many anticipate her to have a golden future in Hollywood after it was announced that she will join Gossip Girl's rebooting cast. Her starts were not easy, however, nor has she had to fight since childhood for her trans identity against labels and bullying. When she played Isabella, that would serve her years later. I used my previous experiences as a high school teenager who was also tortured. I believe that Isabella is not only a new person for Latin America, she is also a new one to the world because when she says that she breaks away from stereotypes, Puebla Metro Mexico, she explained. In a super regulated and under inclusive industry, the performer shows a breath of fresh air and shows that labels are not only good for products rather than people. My creativeness, image, and passion for being an actress and a writer is not something which I like to just put in a category. Number two, Nikki De Yeager. When I was younger, I was born in the wrong body. A video on the famous channel was released as transgender Nikki De Yeager, who is also named by fans on YouTube as Nikki Tutorials. She said at the beginning of the video, Filming this video is terrible, but it's so freeing and liberating. I wanted to share this side of myself with you for all so long, but I could never understand the timing. At the age of six, a 25-year-old makeup and beauty vlogger revealed that she was born in the wrong body. Nikki started her hormones when she was 14 and used growth stoppers to stop her from getting taller. Nikki completely transitioned when she was 19, when she was already making YouTube videos. Yes, she said, I'm transgender, and I am me at the end of the day. Number 3. Elliot Page First time in my life where I really felt okay and comfortable alone. In 2007, when Paige starred in Juno, it was also renamed Vanya Hargreaves and Tales of the City as Shauna Hawkins at Netflix's Umbrella Academy. Paige identified as transgender in 2020. Paige said in a statement in 2020, I love being trans, and I love I'm queer, and I love it. The closer I hold myself, the more I dream. The greater my heart grows, the more I prosper. Every day to the trans who have to deal with the harassment, self-morality, abuse, and the threat of violence, I see you, I love you, and do whatever I can to better transform this world. Last year, Variety reported that his role on the Umbrella Academy would continue. Number 4. Laverne Cox As a black transgender woman who was working class and struggling to make it in New York City, when Laverne Cox began playing Sophia Bursett on The Orange is the New Black of Netflix in 2013, she jumped into the focus. In the show, she performed in a woman's prison for a transgender. Cox was nominated for three Emmy Awards for her participation in the show. In 2014, she became the first open transgender to be nominated in an acting category for a primetime Emmy. For Laverne Cox Presents the T-Word, she was the first openly transgender woman to win the award in 2015, and she was awarded an Emmy Daytime for managers. In several TV shows such as The Mindy Project, Dear White People, and Curb Your Enthusiasm, Cox has been performing. However, the actress has become a transgender rights activist. It is amazing that young people are still fighting LGBTQ plus in different parts of the country. And I believe it's because we still have this very rigid idea, culturally, of what women must be. In 2018, Cox said Yahoo Life, This is why young people, especially LGBTQ youth, are being bullied. Trans people now have unparalleled visibility, but we're attacked more than ever before. Number 5. Asia Kate 
People see me and they may think that because I present with female sex characteristics that I identify as uh, a woman, I don't. On Netflix's Orange is the New Black, Asia Kate Dillon landed a role playing Brandy Epps, but most people know her as Taylor Mason in Billions Showtime. Dillon has grown into the first non-binary actor to play a non-binary character on TV through Mason. The role in 2019 helped Dylan to get a better understanding of his own identity, said Good Morning America. At the time, it crystallized for me. It would be alright for me to my journey was still a non-binary person and a trans person, she said. When Dylan spoke in 2017 on the Emmy's Gender Award categories, he made headlines. It wasn't my first thought, but it was certainly the first time I felt I had a unique opportunity and platform to talk about issues I had, Dylan told Variety. To this effect, the MTV Movie and TV Awards created an award that Dylan presented that year for gender neutral acting. Number 6. Alex Blue Davis What's great about this role is that he can do so many things and he is so many more things than just being trans. Yeah. Alex Blue Davis started in television on Two Broke Girls and NCIS, but his role in Grey's Anatomy is best known. He is Dr. Casey Parker, who is a plainly trans man. Showrunner Krista Vernoff said that several times she wrote Parker's plot. The character finally says, Dr. Bailey, I'm a proud trans man. Before they learn my medical history, I like to see people who know me. Davis said the line was monumental to him in an interview with Hollywood Reporter in 2018. The cool thing about the show, the episode and Krista's version of this person, is that he's much more than being trans, said Davis. It was so moving for me. I cried at the table read. I waited on TV all my life for a moment like this. I'm so honored that on TV, I have to say this line because it's coming for a long time. Number 7. Dominique Jackson My loves, as a trans woman of color, we face violence, we face brutality. Dominique Jackson is renowned for her role as Electra Abundance in this year's groundbreaking show, Pose. In the first season, her character decided to have a sex surgery, often called the bottom surgery, which caused Electra to lose some friends and boyfriend. Many people have been misinterpreted over the years as transgender and always come out from their comfort, Jackson said in 2019 to Metro. But we must also realize it's a personal journey through gender-affirming surgery. The journey of each trans person ends at some point. My complete version was a low-level operation. Many people just thought we did the operation because there's always getting a man or so. Number 8. MJ Rodriguez. It's something that we have always been able to do because we understand the experience of a woman. I've played cis roles before, you know, but I haven't played that many. I've wanted to play more. MJ Rodriguez was on TV before her role on Pose in shows such as Nurse Jackie and The Carrie Diary. But she really catapulted into the role as Blanca Rodriguez in Pose. Rodriguez said that Metro sees this new attention as the opportunity for trans community to represent itself. It's invigorating in a way that we get to be ourselves and live out loud. Intimidating because there are so many things that come our way, and with what we have to deal with and the responsibilities we have, it can be a little overwhelming, she told Metro in 2019. Just making sure that we speak for our community in the right way and that we do the work that needs to be done that a lot of people are out here doing whether through our craft or speaking on a platform that we need to be speaking on. Number 9. India Moore I was completely terrified of anybody knowing that I was queer. I couldn't imagine myself being out and people knowing without having enough support. India Moore began as a model, but when cast as an angels on FX's Pose, they made a name for themselves. They became a major success as trans and non-binary, booked even more modeling concerts, and eventually became Elle's first trans cover model. Moore said activism is one of the most important elements of his life in the cover story. When I'm around people having conversations about their day, I'm looking at them like, what could they possibly be talking about? How are we not talking about deconstructing white supremacy right now? How are we not trying to save trans people? Moore told Elle in 2019. I don't know who I am outside of someone who's just trying to be free and find safety for myself and others. Number 10. Jamie Clayton 
My name is Jamie Clayton. I am a disco lover. I am a woman. I am proud. Nomi Marks's role in Netflix's Sense8 is what Jamie Clayton is known for. In this series, Clayton plays a trans hacker who can see eight other people worldwide. At the end of this show in 2018, Clayton joined Netflix's Sasha Booker as Designated Survivor. Outside TV, Clayton has become a trans rights activist, particularly in Hollywood trans visibility. Actors who are trans never even get to audition for anything other than roles of trans characters, she tweeted in 2018. That's the real issue. We can't even get in the room. Cast characters who are trans as non-trans characters. I dare you. That's all for now. Which of these 10 do you find the best? Let's have your answers in the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications to be made aware of our future updates as soon as they're out. Peace out!